Hi guys, the next service that we're going to be self-hosting on Coolify is DocuSeal. It's an open source alternative to DocuSign or PandaDoc or any of those type of services. The end result is going to look like this. We're going to be able to upload files and add signature fields, among other things, obviously, and send it to people. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is go into Coolify and in the projects tab, click the add button, call it DocuSeal tutorial. Select the production environment, click add a new resource, search for DocuSeal, and we are going to choose the one with Postgres. Select your server. And we are almost done. So I'm just going to shorten the service name. Same thing with the domain name and copy this bit. And now we are ready to click deploy. But before we do, I'm just going to have a look at some of the environment variables. And as you can see, there are no email variables like SMTP or anything like that. As you will see, you actually set that up within the app. So let's go ahead and click deploy. So our containers have started. Let's wait for this to say healthy. There you go. So we're going to open a new tab, search DocuSeal. And now you enter in your details for your initial setup. Once you're ready, click submit. And we are in. I'm going to skip this. I think it's if you want to sign up for their newsletter, but I'm not sure. Anyway, right off the bat, we can upload a new document. So like I did in the beginning, I'm just going to click on this uh, thumbnail. So normally it would be a PDF document or an image that you would be using. And so here you have some fields that you can just click and drag. So you can add a signature field, you can add text. If you want people to enter in text. So it has everything that you need in order to get something signed. So once you're ready, you can save it and then hit send. And as you can see here, it says SMTP not configured. And so all you have to do is just click on go to SMTP setting. And then you enter in your host port username and password. And you'll be set up. My quick opinion on DocuSeal, it's amazing. The only thing that you have to consider is there are a lot of features that are actually missing. And so if I click into a lot of these tabs, um, you will see that there's a lot of features that need the pro version. And if you click on the plans like I just did, it actually redirects you to the DocuSeal page where it's uh, upselling you the pro license. So yeah, you, you still have to pay for this if you want to unlock every single feature. But for the free version, you if all you need is just to send a couple of documents, this is great. So I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you in the next one.